Hi there, friend. This is Lee Posky. Do you want to know whether or not you're really born again by the Spirit of God? This is important because it's the difference between you're going to heaven or hell when you die. I can recall my own difficulty trying to understand, you know, whether or not I was really saved back when God was drawing me to salvation. And I'll tell you, it was an intense time of my trying to grasp peace within my spirit. So now what I'm going to do is pass along some knowledge to you to help you navigate this matter. Let's start by weeding out what salvation is not. Salvation is not the product of your intellect or your efforts. You're not a Christian because you intellectually agree with facts about the Bible and Jesus. You see, man believes with the heart under righteousness, not with the intellect. To know about Jesus is not the same thing as knowing Jesus. Intellectual knowledge is not revelation knowledge. Nor are you a Christian because you do anything. Stuff like you gave your life to Christ, you go to church, you got baptized, you repeated a prayer, or you repented of your sins. Things like that, stuff that you do. No, salvation is the miraculous work of God that we contribute nothing to. It's a radical heart change within a person that comes from a brand new spiritual birth. I mean, think about it. Did you do anything to get born from your mama? Of course not. Then how much more true is it regarding being born of the Spirit of God? Spiritual life is something that we cannot produce. Only God can create life. And listen... We're nothing but needy mercy beggars anyway, all of us, myself included. You see, God calls, and you either ignore it, getting harder and harder in your spirit as time goes on, thinking you're a basically good person, or you receive it by grace through faith. Consider this as you examine yourself. Think about this. Have you been enlightened to how guilty you really are before God? And do you no longer see yourself as a victim, but as a guilty offender against God? And as a result of that, have you called upon the risen Lord Jesus Christ to save you? I'm not talking about calling upon the Lord to fix problems in your life. But have you called on the Lord to save you because you're going to hell? And having owned your sin guilt, have you now come to rest in his finished work as the totality of your right standing with God? Is your heart new? Is your mind different than before all of this happened to you? Do you find yourself constantly thinking on the risen Lord Jesus Christ? And are your affections aimed at pleasing Jesus above anyone and anything else? Well, my friend, those are the markers of someone who's been born again by the Spirit of God. Those are the markers of someone who's going to heaven. This is reality. Someone truly born of the Spirit of God will be radically different on the inside very different than they were in their previous spiritually dead state. Your trust and your affections, things like that, will all be on Christ, and you will now also constantly be at odds with the world that you previously loved, and the world will hate you. You can believe Scripture. John 3, 3 says this, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. John 15, we're told this by Jesus. If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. And 2 Corinthians 5, 17 tells us this. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Well, friend, if you haven't already, or you're not sure where you really stand with God, I invite you to call upon the Lord while he may be found. He doesn't turn anyone away who truly wants his mercy. Call on him for salvation. All right. Well, I thank you for listening to me. In all glory to the risen Lord Jesus Christ and no glory to us whatsoever. Bye-bye.